Y'all remember back about January 19th, we started our sourdough starter. And now here we are about the second week of February. And we're going to talk about a little bit more. And we're going to make another recipe. This is a breakfast recipe. It is a sourdough apple skillet pancake. And Mr. Brown just loved it. And he raved about it. So, let's get started on our new sourdough recipe. Welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Sourdough Apple Skillet Pancake. We're going to start out with six eggs. My hands finally start laying again. Thank goodness. They went through about a month and a half or so. Uh, they went through a molt like they always do at this time of year and weren't right laying at all. And then we started getting one, then we started getting several. So. They're back on their schedule again, I think. So we got our six eggs that we've beaten. Now we're putting in two cups of sourdough starter. Now I fed this starter the night before and uh, I put uh, about a half a cup of bread flour and then I put maybe a fourth of a cup of water in there because I wanted it to be a little bit loose for this recipe this morning. So it's not as thick as it was. I'm going to try to get all this starter out of here. Scrape my, my measuring cup. Now this is two cups of sourdough starter. And we won't be adding any flour or anything like that to this recipe. We're using nothing but our sourdough starter. We're just going to mix that in and incorporate that sourdough starter with the mix really good. Now, if you want to, you can add you about a teaspoon of baking powder if you want a little bit of rise on it, but I'm not going to add any to it this time. I'm just going to add a little less than a fourth a cup of milk in here. You want your batter to be a little bit loose. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt. And you can put your little bit of vanilla in here if you want to. We're going to add four tablespoons of runny honey. Or you can put um, a couple tablespoons of maple syrup in there if you want to. To sweeten it up just a little bit. But I'm going to use honey. Three to four tablespoons is good. And then all we got to do is add our apples. Now some people will add the apples to their skillet and then pour the batter over. It doesn't matter. You can do it either way. And you can add you some cinnamon. We've got six tablespoons of butter in our skillet. I heated it in a hot oven, and I'm just going to swirl it around now and coat the, the sides of my skillet. My oven is at 425, and we're just going to pour our batter right in here. Now I'm going to kind of move my apples around because I kind of went to one side. Just distribute your apples a little bit. Now 
Now we're going to put this in the oven. Now I'm going to put this in my 425 degree oven and I'm going to let it cook for about 15 minutes. I'm not going to open my oven door for 15 minutes and then I'm going to open it up and peek at it and um, see where we're at. And it took about 20 minutes and um, my pancake's done. It's good and brown around the, the edges and on bottom and the middle. I stuck a knife in it and it's it's done. It come out clean. You can see how brown the, the edge is. I think that's Mr. Brown's favorite part is how brown the bottom and the sides get. And this has become one of his favorite breakfast. Put a little bit of butter on it. I've got my maple syrup in the microwave. I'm warming it up really good. You can see it's done in the middle. I'm going to go get my maple syrup. And we're going to pour us some syrup on top of this skillet pancake. I always like my syrup to be good and warm. And I cooked me a couple of pieces of sausage. And don't that look like a pretty plate? Does that make y'all hungry? There it is. Your sourdough apple skillet pancake. It is really, really good, y'all. Y'all will really enjoy this recipe. It's one of Mr. Brown's favorites. You know, when we done the sourdough, if you're new to my channel, I'm going to put the link below to that video showing you where we started our sourdough starter and we went step by step all the way to day five and then we made some English muffins. But... Now that that starter, that same starter, is a little bit older and it's just really advancing itself and just really doing a really good job and, and staying alive and I'm keeping it alive by feeding it and taking care of it. And uh, so it's just getting better and better every day. But uh, this recipe, I just really wanted to share it with you. We got up one morning and I uh, wanted to make some breakfast, and I wanted to make this uh, skillet pancake with apples, sourdough, of course. So I thought, I'm just going to turn the camera on, and uh, we're going to video this, because I know that uh, y'all would absolutely love this recipe. And we are going to be making some sourdough bread pretty soon. Now, I want you to leave down in the comments below. Um, I do want to make sourdough bread in the bread machine and just your regular sourdough in the oven because I have a lot of followers that are using bread machines now and uh, they're always asking for more bread recipes so I thought this would be a good one so if y'all would like to see sourdough bread made in the bread machine just let me know but anyways uh, we will be getting to making some sourdough bread pretty soon but I wanted to an answer some questions too. So after that video, and after we made the English muffins, and they turned out, I mean, this recipe, you just can't beat it. Now we did use yeast with it. And I got questions like, you know, why did you use yeast with the sourdough? Isn't that the reason for the sourdough to replace the yeast? And in some recipes, yes, it is. I mean, but it's not that you don't, you can't use yeast. And this is the reason why. We love the taste of sourdough in a lot of recipes. Um, but we also like the rise that yeast gives. So with the English muffins, this recipe had both sourdough and yeast in it and it made the most perfect english muffins i can tell you there's so many recipes out there that's going to use sourdough starter and yeast or sourdough starter and baking powder it doesn't make it wrong 
Now, I know there's some hardcore sourdough bread people out there that are saying that that's not real sourdough bread when you use yeast. Um, it is sourdough bread because you got sourdough in it, so it is sourdough bread. Um, I make recipes without yeast and without baking powder, and I also make recipes using sourdough with yeast and baking powder. It's just in all what you like, but it doesn't make it wrong. Um, like I said, we like the way that the yeast gives the gave the muffins just that extra that extra little rise, but not too much. Um, if you're going to be using a recipe that uses sourdough starter plus bacon powder, use it. If you like that little bit of help, it's not wrong. Um, Sourdough star has been around for the beginning of time. It's fermented flour. Uh, it's better for your gut. It tastes good. And you can use starter in by itself, or you can use it with yeast. You can go either way. It doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it right. It just makes it your recipe and how you like it. I have absolutely researched. I can't tell you how many sourdough recipes and um, some are with yeast and some's without. It just depends. And um, anything that I've ever used both with turns out perfect. Um, your, just your regular sourdough bread with no yeast and stuff is good too. Um, and I make that too. But using a little bit of yeast with it, it's not wrong. Um, like I said, there's just certain recipes that you might want to, or you, and there's some that you don't. But anyways, this recipe with the pancake, uh, skillet pancake, the recipe usually calls for uh, about a teaspoon of baking powder, but you don't have to use it, and I didn't use it. Uh, it would have helped it maybe just get a little bit fluffy or something. But uh, So it was a little bit denser, but it was so, so good. So anyways... Either way you go about it, sourdough is sourdough. And um, let's see, I had a question about uh, what did I do with the starter after I made the English muffins. Okay, I went ahead and just fed it, just like I did before. And up to the two-week mark is about, I don't know, 13, 14 days. I kind of slacked off because it was looking good. It, it, it was still doing good. I was using it. I was baking with it, using it, and I even give some away because I had a couple people that wanted some sourdough starter. So I put them some in a little pint jar and give it to them. So that's always a good idea to share that. So um, after that, I think every other day I fed it. And if it looked like it just wasn't doing what it was needed to be doing, I'd go ahead and feed it just a little bit more. And maybe instead of 24 hours, I would feed it every 12 hours but it's it just looked good all the time now if i needed to i could have put it in the refrigerator uh, say i was going somewhere i just couldn't mess with it put it in the refrigerator come back to it take it out uh, sourdough starters do better between 70 and 85 degrees so what i do is i take it out of the refrigerator i let it get to room temp and then i feed it and then i just keep going with it um, if your sourdough starter gets a little liquid on top, start up, feed it. It'll usually come right out of it. Now mine here, probably a week ago or so, it got to the, it smelled like beer. And then it, it just got a little stronger. So at that point, I just kept doing what I was doing because you want it to get to that point, get over that hump, and then it just come right back to smelling like good old sourdough starter. And right now, it's back here. I got home from work, and I just uh, put a little bit of bread flour in it. I didn't even put any water in it, and covered it up with a uh, just a little tea towel. And it's just doing its thing, and just happy as can be. And I'll probably make some bread this weekend. If I do, I will for sure bring y'all along with me. So anyways, I just wanted to explain some things that that was asked after this video. And that video will be down below this video in the information box where 
all my information is all the time and all my recipes for that video will always be below in the information box you just click on more whatever device you're looking or watching the video on just go down below the video it'll either say more or show more or something click on that and all that information comes down so anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i hope that y'all make the uh, sourdough apple skillet pancake because it's wonderful put your little cinnamon in it put your little nutmeg if you want to and drizzle you some hot maple syrup on it it's so good so anyways guys i'm so glad y'all hung out with me we talked a little bit we made us something really good and there'll be more sourdough recipes i'm also fixing to and when i get time i want to do I need to put up some beef broth, and I want to do a video on that. And there's just a lot coming up. Y'all just got to hang with me and uh, just uh, just always look when my videos upload. Sometimes you are not getting the notification, so I always go back to my to my home channel, Whipple World Holler homepage, and click on videos and make sure that you're you're not missing out on any of the videos. And I even have some shorts out there too. If you're not uh, familiar with the shorts, because I've had some people comment and say, Miss Lori, what happened to the video? It just wasn't very long, and I couldn't hardly see it. That's a, what they call a short. So it's just little tidbits of a video, but they all count, and uh, it just makes me be with you that e even that much more. So anyways, guys, we'll see you all in a couple of days, and uh, y'all have a good week, and God bless everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.